friend of yours who says to you, hey, you know what, I really like that friend of yours, and I'd love to have a date with him. But then they're afraid to pull the plug and go on out there and have a date and ask him out. So, what do you do when you have a friend who wants to ask somebody out, but they're afraid to do it? And what do you do if you're the person that's going to be asked out? Please welcome Tony to the show. Now, Tony here... Tony here happens to be the recipient of a crush. You're the recipient. There's yeah. somebody out there who really likes you, wants to go out with you, has seen you, talked about you, had discussions about you, but just will not go ahead and pull the plug, get off the step, and come up and say, Tony, will you go out with me? What do you think about this? I think it's flattering. Do you think it's flattering? Yeah. Tell us, who, what, what, what do you like in a woman? Let's know this first. Are you, oh wait, are you single? Yeah, I'm single. You're not dating anybody? Nobody. When was your last relationship? Six months ago. And how long did that relationship last? Uh, five years. Five years? What, what'd you do wrong, man? I don't know. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> you broke up. Yeah. Now you're out here by yourself. Yeah. And what would you be looking for in a woman? Oh. Uh, good morals, I suppose. Good morals? She's got to be pretty. Got to be pretty? Yeah. And anything else? I don't know. Can she cook? You want her to cook? Oh, what? yeah. Cook. Cook, Definitely. all that stuff, right? Yeah. Pamper you when you come home. Yeah. Take you special places. Sure. You want a lot, buddy. <laughs> All right, look. I, I'm going to start the show because we have some people that are here right now waiting to meet you. Uh, you ready? Yeah. See you in a Let's minute. Go. I'll be back. Welcome Jennifer and her friend Angie to the show. <laughs> Jen, why don't you tell me what the story is? What's going on here? Well, um, me and Angie worked at a bank, and uh, Angie worked at the drive-thru, and this guy would come through like every two weeks to get his check cashed, and she waited on him a couple times, but after that, wouldn't. She'd just stand back and look at him. Kind of look at him as he goes by. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh -huh. and... And, uh... You just decided to hook her up. Yeah. <laughs> and make sure that she finally stepped, got off the little stump and made it and asked him out. Yeah. Have you ever asked a guy out before? No. I should tell all my viewers at home, see, what happened is we were going to do the show a couple weeks ago here in New York City, and then all of a sudden here comes Floyd, big old bad Floyd, you know, the big old storm. <laughs> Floyd comes rocking through. These guys were here in, this, in town waiting to meet this man, and we had to cancel the show. And we had several guests back here, guys that were back here, who were waiting to be like, you know, there's girls that were here who were saying, we want to meet him, we want to talk to him, we want to ask him out. And then all of a sudden, the show gets canceled. And guess what? The guys came back, some of them. The rest of the women did not. So we've got some guys back here waiting to meet some girls. And you wanted to meet who? What's his name? Tony. Tony. And you already know that Tony's here. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah. So when he walks out here right now, he doesn't know if it's you that has a crush or if it's you. Well, see, I went to school with him. Mm -hmm. So I know him. He may think it's you. Yeah. But you're married. Yeah. So what's he going to think about that? Um, I think we ought to start off by tricking him a little bit. Let's, you do this. You go backstage <laughs> that way. Good. Now, let's bring him out and see if he thinks it's you. Are you ready to play this off? Yeah. Does he know you're married? I think so. So what's he going to think when a married woman has a crush on him? I don't know. Is your husband here? Yeah. Where's he at? Right there. You okay with this? <laughs> she can play a little bit? <laughs> Just a little bit, okay? Please welcome Tony to the show. <laughs> Hang on, Tony. Good. Good. Have a seat right here. Right here. So, you know that there's someone out there that has a crush on you, huh? Yeah. From what you tell me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, uh, Jennifer, you had something you wanted to tell Tony, huh? Wait, do you know Jennifer? Yeah, from high school. Really? Do you know anything about Jennifer? Not Hello? really, I guess. <laughs> huh? Did you know Jennifer used to be married? Yeah. Yeah? Used to be. She still is, I thought. <laughs> Why don't you tell him something, Jen? Go ahead. Tell him. Well, I got a divorce, and I wanted to bring you on the show to tell you I had a crush on you. Tony? <laughs> You're too easy, man. It's not true. She didn't get a divorce. No. That's okay, too? Yeah. Well, what, you... No, no, no. That's not okay. Oh, no, no. <laughs> All right, wait. So, if I were to tell you to look out over this audience, there's a lady sitting in this audience right now that asked us to bring you to New York City. All right. 
Because she wanted to be able to go out with some Tony. <laughs> Can you tell us who it is? Look, no. look, look at those adoring eyes looking back at you. <laughs> They're all looking at you like, it's me. Which one is it? It's not that guy, is it? Uh, <laughs> the guy? I said lady. Okay. <laughs> but does that matter to you? Because this gentleman does have a... No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not another show. We're just, you know... All right, so maybe we ought to set up. Why don't you tell him the truth? Yeah. Um, the truth? Yeah, tell him the truth, that there's a friend of yours. Yeah, there's a friend of mine that has a crush on me. Cool. A has he ever What's seen her, her before? Well, he came to the bank once, and uh, I told him that I had a friend that had a crush on him. And he said, is she cute? And I said, well, yeah. And he said, well, give her my phone number. And, and you never did? Did you give him the phone number? Mm -mm. Did you give your friend the phone number? Mm -hmm. No. All right, so you ready to meet her? Yeah, bring her out. Please welcome Angie to the show. How you doing? So now, with a little bit of Montel's help, we're going to make this happen. Could I have some some romantic music and some dim lights? Because I'm going to help you out there, shy one. Thanks. How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> you came to the bank a couple times, and I just, I want to get to know you better. Cool. Maybe go out something. Let's go out. Okay. Pick a maybe out of it. Okay. No maybe. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Okay. And yeah. we'll do this when? This weekend. Yeah. When you get home. Okay. In, in a heartbeat? In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There we go. See? That was easy. Well, that's what we're doing today. Someone secretly has a crush on someone else. The friends are trying to make them just get off the pot, ask out. You would have gone out with her three weeks ago if she'd asked you, wouldn't you? Yeah, but I'm glad she brought me to New York. <laughs> someone secretly is admiring this next guest, and the tables are going to get turned. We'll take a little break. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.